All right, so let's see here. This is Ipswich Bay. Nice neighbors across the street. Houses look well maintained. Nothing that's sort of a, a scare factor. House is nice and tall. It's all brick on the front. Some nice treatments. Uh, let's walk into the house. So as we walk into the house, the first thing you get into is sort of a formal living room. You can see as you walk in the door that the stairs are right here at the doorway. Um, formal living room though, really good size. And then two windows, so light all through. Um, it looks like maybe this is uh, where they would put some sort of dining table or something uh, if needed. Um, neighbors aren't too close and it's nice and quiet, you can't hear any of the planes flying over. Good closet, uh, coat sort of closet inside the living room, very deep. It actually goes the full length of the stairs. Then we get into the three windows leading into another sort of social dining family room sort of pseudo thing. You can see there's a cable hook up there. Um, I think this wall is actually a fake wall just to divide the two rooms. And then we can see the giant kitchen. This is the one that you saw online. Um, these are not tile. This is actually linoleum. So it's brown carpet throughout the house and then this sort of faux stone linoleum. This is sort of a nook that they've extended on and uh, they have this going all the way through upstairs. Backyard is a great size. Um, nice spotlights that are put everywhere. Rounded corners on all of the walls. Um, if I step backward here you can see the whole kitchen. It is not marble or granite countertops. Those are um, laminate uh, that look like stone. But really nice island. Um, really good size. As I come around you can see the cabinets. The cabinets actually look a lot better here in person than they did in the photos. Um, it's more of like a cherry laminate versus a, uh, a pine. Um, all of the shelves are actually coated as well. So very nice here. Good sink. It has the garbage disposal. Dishwasher is right next to the sink. Uh, extra counter space and drawers next to the sink. And as we continue through the back here, the linoleum carries over to the half bathroom. So you can see that. It's a decent size. Um, window that faces out to the backyard. Very tall ceilings. I can't actually get anywhere near reaching the ceilings. Um, about two feet higher than my reach. Uh, laundry room, which then leads out to the garage. There's also a pantry shelved closet coming out of the kitchen. It's not very deep, but uh, not bad for uh, putting your canned goods on. And then we get out to the garage. And as you get out to the garage, it's a two-car garage. There's no step or slat. Um, decent size. You could probably put a workbench in here if we needed to for your kiln. Um, might be a tight fit for storage as well as both cars. But uh, I think we could make do with some shelving and some uh, good layout. And uh, now let's go upstairs.